So I just, I just flung my cards. I don't like to litter, so I'm going to pick these up. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want people to. And we're back. Hi. Tom Shalhoub tried to, to leave, but this is where the real fun happens. This is the after the show show. Oh, yeah. Fox and Friends, where the fun audience lives. I was worried about my socks, but look at these guys. We got pugs. Uh, we got Minnesota. <laughs> Abby, what do we have? Oh, good. No socks for me. <laughs> I go bare legs. The lovely ankle. When I wear socks, I wear, when I wear and, dog socks, I wear pug socks. And only man spreading from Tom Shalhoub. Yeah, I mean, I got to take, uh, take after world leaders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to win, Tom. So I don't understand what this man spreading thing is. It's been in the news lately. Mm -hmm. But is it that, Abby, is it that bad when you get on the subway and the guys are spread out? It gives, we got to have a little room. Yeah. Yeah, then you that's move aside. That's how guys sit. Yeah. I that's, think it'd be a bigger issue right. if women did the man spreading. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that, 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 yeah. that would be a story. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to think. No. So, radio, three hours. <laughs> three we could happily change this topic. Like, I'm uncomfortable with this topic right now. <laughs> yeah, Pete's uncomfortable. Yeah. You know what Pete's uncomfortable about? We haven't eaten today, right? Yeah, we didn't do any segments. segments. We didn't go outside. The art of oh, now they're playing the Widening their legs that out as far transition. as the wings of those chairs allowed them. Nobody's going to out man spread me. You can hear their little psyches urging them on. Then there was the All right. See, look yeah. at that, Tom. President Trump has a, a bigger widespread what uh, Chris Matthews talk about than Vladimir Putin. So it means that he must be winning the man spreading challenge. I, didn't, I can't believe, you know, do you remember when Chris Matthews, he, he was like, he was a real journalist. I don't know how he became a feminist blogger all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> that's where that's where they invented this man spreading thing. It was something that was made oh, really? up. Yes, I mean this well, is the way signs guys on sit. the subway. You not, can't sit that way, you know. Are there really? No, in some at, was it the Netherlands too as well. A couple of countries and no, cities man -spreading. have said do not man spread because apparently it's a problem with people like dump. They just want a little more space. They spread out a little bit, and then you can bring it back in. I'll tell you why I man spread. Oh. So I can offer that real estate to a pregnant woman when Thank she gets you. I want to keep as much Thank land you. as possible. Yes. And then when she gets on, I say, ma'am, and I stand up. Tom, I love you. Chivalry. i got to tell you, Not now dead. that I'm pregnant, yeah. being on the subway, you realize how important it is for people to get up for the pregnant people. And you notice the ones that stare at you, and they just keep sitting. <laughs> Why, yeah. And it's you're amazing. like, you are a young woman. Do you even realize the hypocrisy here? Wait a minute. You're saying it's the young women who don't times, move? A lot of times, yeah. They just oh. stare at you, and they don't move. Oftentimes, it's the men that get up. Yeah. Maybe Good for their men. wives and they know what their wives have they been have through mothers, being pregnant. They've absolutely. got mothers. They and literally have put something in the teleprompter, which is shocking <laughs> for what manspreading is. A definition from Brian Tully, our producer. Early 21st century is the origin from man and spreading. And they want you to see spread for the full definition. I'd rather well, not. well, that just broke it down. Yeah, uh, now I get it. <laughs> so, are, are you going to get these kind of comedic stylings from 3 to 6 on Fox News Radio? We're going to be talking about the important issues. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think we're going to do a little, well, that's the thing, we got three hours. So I want to, when I've been filling in at night on talk radio, I start off serious, we go with the headlines, yep. and then we get sillier as we go along. I think Fox and Friends does the same. Oh, we do. You can't <laughs> help it, though. Exactly. Kind of true. Exactly. Some, there are some days when the show just starts veering off the rails and we really can't And then, then your producer on. gets near quietly, careful. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> easy. 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 You know, Calm you got to veer down. back. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I didn't know that was a producer. I just thought that was my own head. <laughs> You're, you thought you had an inner dialogue, but yes. you really didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, we're excited for the show. Uh, I think you're mean, mean Dads for a Better America, cool title. And does it just mean we need more, like, tough, mean dads? Yeah, I mean, the, my dad was I, mean, and I was scared of my dad until I was about 10. But if you, if you were the kind of mean dad that my dad was, you couldn't do it today. But I'm just saying that parents, we can learn a little bit, look back to our own parents. Mm -hmm. And the book is it's stories from the past. So it's, it's meant to make people laugh. But also, maybe we can learn something and say, hmm. I wonder if that would work today. Is the reason you can't do it today because the Department of Children and Families would be at your door? Yeah. My mother used to tie me to a tree. <laughs> I yeah, mean, you know, she would strap me to a tree just so we I could mothers play. for a better America, too. I was going to call it Mean Dads and Cheap Moms <laughs> because my mother, has, she was a, a militant money saver. Uh, but somehow my publisher thought that Cheap Moms was more of a slur than Mean Dads. So. That's mm. funny. Well, we did a story today, actually, kind of on this topic. In the U.K., there are schools that now make it so young kids don't have to play competitive sports. Schools in the U.K. Because they want everyone to know what it feels like to be involved and to win. They don't want any Partici losers to participate. And we've been talking about this morning, our growing up, we all remember the moments that we lost and how that made us who we are today. So this, uh, to your point, this idea of like you can't be strict <laughs> as a face. parent. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't, you know, instill discipline in your kids anymore. And it wasn't just my dad. I mean, my dad wasn't even at my Little League game because he was busy. I mean, the whole idea of Little League was like, uh, give my son something to do. You <laughs> totally. Know? But it was the other kids were mean to us. 
You know, if you if you didn't take a big enough lead off first base, your teammates, Come on, man. yeah, Come on. they would insult you, and then yeah. you learned through bullying, you learned something. Right. You do. I love what your coach said so, to you. My coach, yeah, I, I, my college basketball coach, I used to go to him and say, Coach, why, why don't I play? I mean, I, why am I? He goes, How about you get better? <laughs> and then you'll play. And it's I'm like, so, you know what? Sometimes I'm, it's I'm so simple. Better. Forget <laughs> college. I remember eighth grade. I mean, I know we're on the web right now, and sort of anything goes on the web, but I can't even say the things. My seventh and eighth grade baseball coach used to say to us, uh, you know, uh, just uh, tough and jump. Yeah. You know, when you got to high school, you were ready to go. All right, well, this is officially the longest after the show show. Of we're, we're not getting a wrap. We're Tom for the three hour show. He's starting on Monday. I got to fill a lot of time. Four hours isn't enough. We got to have six minutes after the show, but with Tom Shirley, we'll do it. You're a good <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we need to talk more well, about manspreading. We do not have to stretch for <laughs> Have a Get great Sunday, everybody. Enjoy we'll the manspreading.